hello everyone this is arohi and welcome to my channel so guys in my today's video i'll show you how to perform image segmentation using yolo nas and segment anything model so yolo nas is the latest object detection model by desi ai and segment anything model is the latest image segmentation model by facebook so today we will see how we can perform image segmentation by using these two models so you can see in this image the very first image is input to yolo nas so this will be the input to a yolo nas model and then the second image see that output of yolo nas so this will be the output you will get from your yolo nas model because yolo nas is a object detection model and here you can see we are getting bounding boxes with their confidence and the class labels okay so guys for my today's class i am not working on a custom data set so what i'm doing is i i'm working on the person class of the uh, coco data set for image segmentation our main goal is to put a uh, segmentation put mask on the person class okay so the model which i'm using here is i'm using the pre trained uh, yolo nas model uh, which is trained on coco data set i'm using that model for object detection and you can see in second image that we are uh, various objects are detected okay so this then you see the third image so this third image the output of the segment anything model so this is what you get when you provide any image to segment anything model and segment anything model will provide the mask for all the objects which are present in the image until you you know use the other ways to put the mask on the specific objects so third image is you get from segment anything model now but our main requirement over here is our task is to put mask only on one class which is the person class and you can see in the fourth image that bounding box is there person class label is there and the mask is only on person class okay so this is what we are going to achieve today okay i'll show you all the steps um, one by one so that you can perform the similar kind of uh, uh, example okay so now uh, guys uh, first thing is come here and see so the uh, the very first thing is you need the this weight file this is the pre trained weight file of segment anything model you can get it from the segment anything model github repo okay the official github repo you can download it from there and this yolo nas l coco l means the large model which is trained on coco data set you can get this um, pre trained model from the yolo nas github repo official github repo okay so just create one directory and place these two weight files in it okay so this sam uh, underscore something this will help you out in um, putting the mask on the image and this pre trained file will help you to put bounding boxes around the objects okay and this is the code i'll show you this code in some time and apart from that we have a images folder in images folder i have placed the input image on which i want to work okay and the output folder is having uh, the outputs okay so you can see first output is this this is the output of your yolo nas model and then this is the output of your segment anything model okay so the only thing which i will show you now is this rest of the things are clear to you okay let's open this jupyter notebook so this is my jupyter notebook so first few lines are the setup the modules which are required to run both these models so i have created a separate environment using python 3.10 and i have then activated the environment after that i am installing this super gradients uh, package because this is necessary if you want to use yolo nas then this package is necessary i am utils and this pytube is also required for yolo nas model okay so these three uh, modules are for yolo nas and then by running this single line you can install in the segment anything model on your uh, this environment okay okay so now we have installed everything let's check the torch version i'm using 
Torch 1.12.1 with CUDA 11.6 and the GPU on which I'm working is this. Now let's import all the required packages and guys after that these three four functions these four functions i took these functions from the segment anything model github repo okay so these are the helper functions show mask will help us to you know show the mask on the image show points show box will plot the bounding box and show annotations all these functions are required uh, to show the output so that's why i copied these functions from the segment anything model github repo okay so first of all i'm showing you the image on which i'm working so this is the image okay this will be the input image to our um, yolo nas model okay and how we use yolo nas model you can see here first we are importing the gradient super gradients and then the other helper modules and this is the image on which i want to work and this is how you uh, you know call the model so i'm using the large model which is trained on Coco dataset and the confidence score I have set to this and this show means if you want to see the image with the detected bounding boxes so you can use this show method okay and guys if you want to now you have this output image over here with the detections now if you want to save this output video with the bounding boxes in any directory then you can use this save okay and over here provide the path where you want to save the image and this will save your image okay so i have provided the path output folder so this will get stored in the output folder let's see the output folder so this is my output folder see and this is the image which we have from yolo nas output okay now this is how yolo nas work okay now let's see how segment anything work i am showing you the task of both the models individually then we will you know concatenate the code we'll use it together okay so i am working on this image only and this is the pre-trained weight okay model type is this devices cuda i'm working on gpu so th this is how you write it and then these are the lines you have to write like this okay this is the image on which we are working and this sam automatic mask generator this is the main class which will generate the mask for all the objects which are present in the image so that's what we are doing we are providing the image to this sam automatic mask generator okay and then we are plotting it and you can see we have a uh, image with the mask on each and every object okay but this is not what we wanted what we want is we only want to put the mask on person class okay so what we need to do for that so guys the first step is for that you need to use the object detection model to put bounding boxes around the objects okay and then you will you know uh, once you detect the bounding boxes once you detect the objects and you get the bounding box coordinates okay first step is to get the bounding box coordinates for the custom class you want to work on okay so for getting the bounding box coordinate what we need to do is we have to see this is the code which is showing us the this output okay now from this line oh sorry from this line we have to get the other details like what are the bounding box coordinates and what are the labels what are the confidence scores we get we have to fetch all these things from this line okay from this model so now in my next step this is what i'm doing so we are extracting confidence labels and bounding boxes so for that what we have done is this is how we call the model and this is how we predict and with that i have placed this image underscore prediction underscore list so this is basically uh, this is how you can uh, you know access the information of the you know image so first this is the output you'll get so these are the array image array okay and over here you can see the prediction part prediction bounding boxes so these are the bounding boxes so we have uh, lots of objects in this image right so we get all the bounding box coordinates over here 
and after that we have confidence for all the objects and then we have labels these are the labels for all the different objects which are detected in the image and then we have the class names these are the class names this is the whole list of uh, coco dataset class names okay but we don't want all these details okay what we want from this output we only want to have the boxes confidence and labels these three things are required so that's what i'm fetching over here in this variable i'm getting the bounding boxes in confidence variable i'm getting the confidence and in label variable i'm getting the labels now you can see our output first are the bounding boxes okay and then these are the confidence scores and then we are having the class labels okay the ids of the classes which are detected okay now we have these three things now these boxes will be the input to the segment anything model for putting the mask on the custom object okay so this boxes will go to the um, segment anything model now and guys now what we want is we want to work on only single class okay so the person class have zero id in coco data set so we can simply put the if condition that if id is zero then only execute the uh, segment anything code okay so that's what we are doing we are calling the segment anything model we are calling the predictor then we are setting the image on which we want to work then we are converting the image into the format which the model accepts and if label is zero then we are putting the mask okay so for putting the mask you can see input box what we have in input box the bounding box coordinates which we got from the yolo nas model okay so that's what we are providing over here and we are uh, putting the mask and you can see here we are putting the mask on the person class we have a bounding box and this is how you can perform uh, image segmentation using yolo nas and segment anything model so guys why i have shown you this example because yolo nas model is the uh, you know is giving you better accuracy as per the other object detection model still now and the segment anything model is you know is uh, best for image segmentation so that's why i thought that let's try these both models together and see what kind of results we get now without you know see we are getting uh, very good segmentation results and very good detection results right and uh, let's suppose if you don't have your image segmentation data set prepared then you can simply call just prepare the object detection data set and then plot the bounding boxes around the objects after that just provide that bounding boxes to the segment anything model and segment anything model is already doing very well on segmenting the image on putting the mask so directly just provide the bounding boxes to the segment anything model and you will get a uh, excellent mask on it so that's it guys i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching